what we're doing is breaking ground for the Alizada shoreline protection works. It protects the Kingston shoreline. We're talking about Portmore, we're talking about Newport West, where there's been tremendous investments over the years, Newport East, downtown Kingston, Manly Meadows, a flour mills, cement company. This tumble up, the Palisades, protects all that from storm surges. It's in relation to the threat from natural disaster which has plagued the country for far too long. Others have sat and lived with a problem for years, but that's not what this government is about. The lifeblood of the entire Palisades Peninsula extended from Caribbean Terrace to the historic township of Port Royal, including the Norman Manley International Airport, the Caribbean Maritime Institute, the Jamaica Yacht Club, the Gunboat Beach is to be redeveloped. The Caribbean Maritime Institute is to move its registration and citizens attending from 800 people to 3,000 people in the next two years. That's because we can find over a thousand persons per year to place on ships across the world. I will be back to ensure that as we finalize the issues with Carnival, that Port Royal follows. Just as it will follow Montego Bay and Ocho Rios. Sometimes I wonder why we have to fight so much against the odds to get development going. Indeed, my analysis usually shows that if we continue anyway to perform in a vortex of decline, and we're not raising the vision, and where people should be led, then what you have are challenges which are not necessarily being raised to become hurdles in the path of progress. There is an aspect if you speak of the environment, the environment has to shift to in the equality of what is important as you develop the world. And I'm pleased to hear that we now have put to rest the issue of approvals, and that indeed, what I think may have been looked at as obstacles are recognizing that the future of the country must be allowed to expand and grow. <laughs> this project is one of the national importance. <laughs> it's not a, a road project as being banded about and labeled about. It's a serious and a project of national importance. So what we have here is a project that will be able to withstand a category 5 hurricane. We have had extensive discussions with GPS and the power grid from our view to the roundabout at the Norman and the International Airport will be on the ground. What this does in the event of an uh, incident, a hurricane or a storm, They'll be able to shut down the power an hour or two before the incident. And right after the incident goes, they can turn on the power. A 10 meter wide boardwalk will be constructed on the other side. This will allow the people to enjoy the view, the ambience that the harbor provides. So the lay-by will benches will be installed on the roadway so that when someone writes about us not remembering the little coconut cell, that they recognize this minister knows what the street is like. This minister knows what suffering is about. Working on this for about six months now. I uh, make sure so the walls straight and water run good in it and things. You know? How do you get work? Lazy enough to start. Uh, Every area has some different layers in Africa, you know? So which area you come from? From Mountain View. The project manager continues to tell me that they won't be taking on more than 50 persons on the project. I, I really want to, to send out a signal in relation to that because the expectations are great. The unemployment is, is high. We will have to find a way to ensure that as many persons can be employed on the project and that some system of rotation can be implemented. Much has been said, we have been working very, very closely with NEPO in regards to the environmental issues and we will demonstrate, this project will demonstrate the importance of proper planning, 
the damage to the environment has been over the years by nature. Successive hurricanes have done extensive damage to all the, 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 the plants in within the harbor. And what this project is going to do is to protect also the environment from these acts of God and you know, acts of nature. Let me give you assurance, we have gone to great length to ensure that the environmental issues are fully addressed as we go forward. This project will not harm the environment, it will protect the environment. We are going to be providing an environmental person 24-7 to monitor the environmental issues on the project throughout the life of the project. Authorize. If you go head office, go authorize. If you go head office, go authorize. Who are you? I don't. This is authorize. Jamaica, not China. Head office, get authorized to do that, baby. I don't. This is public, public property. Public property. Public property. Public property. Call the police. 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 